What up nerds, it's Jason here from Custom Cans and today we have the Mass Drop 6XX and uh, we've got a slightly updated version of our mass loading and damping kit which looks sexy with them. So uh, let's see how to fit that, do some tests, see what changes it makes, that kind of thing. So yeah, so there's loads of these out there. If you've got a pair of these, we've got a cheap and easy upgrade, make them sound better. Anyway, yeah, uh, let's go. <laughs> And this, my dear friends, is why I don't have to join the gym. Getting these buggers out. Right, okay. Oh. Alright, cool. 6XX. Alright, before we do anything, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug these into the uh, into the rig and we'll take a measurement, see what the see what the frequency response looks like of an out-the-box pair of 6XXs. Okay, so as you can see pretty flat. What we're hoping to do is basically pick up a bit of sub bass. So as standard they start to roll off about kind of 60 hertz, 60 maybe, yeah 60 to 100 hertz they start to roll off and we're gonna hope to bring that back up. Maybe sort a couple of other bits out. Um, I don't know if you've seen our old copper mod. What we did was we got a load of them polished up and nickel plated. So now they're the shiny silver. So underneath it's still solid copper, but uh, so it's still nice and weighty. We just got it nickel plated to make it extra shiny, to kind of like the silver and black kind of looked good together, I thought. Um, I know this is a very dark blue, but you know, it's, it's pretty much black. It's pretty much black. So, um, so getting these apart is pretty easy. As you can see, there's like a ridge there and a ridge there. I have to excuse the state of my fingernails. I've been uh, pulling my car apart over the weekend and uh, my hands are ruined. But uh, anyway, uh, what you want to do is probably hook a little fingernail or something up against that ridge to give yourself something to press against. Press against this, the bottom of this, that'll lift up, that'll push the grill out slightly, then you can remove the grill, pop its little chin back into place, and under here is the actual driver. Now as you can see, as standard you've got foam on the HD650 and the 6XX, you've got thicker foam or two layers of foam and this piece around the outside is what they call the spider cage. Now then we've designed these to kind of fit over that thusly. Um, these will come with little stickers that you can stick on because on some some versions they've got slightly different mouldings and it doesn't fit on quite as tightly. That's, that's on there pretty well. Um, yeah so that's it. Press that on. This is the level one mod, totally removable. You know you can ooh, pull that back off again. It's not a problem. Yeah, just push it down firmly on there and then replace your grill. And then if nothing else, it is at least 30% uh, sexier. As you can see with, the, oh, look at that. That's a quality bit of kit just there. Yeah, it costs a bit extra, but uh, yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's sexy, it's sexy. Anyway, uh, what have we got? Is that the left? No, it's the right. Okay, let's do the other side. Sorry, yeah, we're measuring on the left, but you get a chance to see how I'm doing it again. So. See how quick it is to do a stage one, and we'll move on to the slightly more advanced tuning. Stage two. Move it, line it up, press it down. Now you see this one's loose. Give me a moment. Let me just get one of the stickers. Yeah. So in the kit, you'll get a few of these. These are these little uh, little stickers. Uh, you might get clear or black, depending on which kit you get. So what you want to do is line up all the little, uh, little tags on the outside with the legs. There you go, so get that straight. Get that pressed into place. Put that on over the top. And then that's tight on there now. To be honest, it's probably worth putting those stickers on anyway. They, yeah, try it first. If it's nice and tight on there, you don't need them, but a lot of them do. Right, let's put that back on there. Okay, so yeah, quick, quick 10 minute jobby. Um, right, let's measure those again. Right, cool. Uh, yeah, so we've gained a tiny bit uh, down sort of below 50 hertz. It doesn't roll off as much. And um, we've also flattened off some of the upper mid, so we've brought those up a little bit and brought down some of the peaks in the treble. So there's a peak at around 8k, which is reduced, and a peak which is up near 20k which is also reduced. So we're starting to get a little bit flatter just by just by adding that. Because this improves the airflow going in and out, it does make it sound a little bit punchier. It's a bit faster, uh, faster bass. But uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's move on to stage two. 
Okay, so if you want to go a bit further, squeeze a bit more out of these, then it is not quite so easy to undo. Let's just do this. Okay, so you want to remove the grill again. Remove your weight if you've already put that on there. What we're going to do is we're going to take the foam out from inside the driver here. And um, once you take it out, it is difficult to get back in. Not impossible, but difficult. So uh, it's kind of no turning back from this stage. <laughs> All right, so the way I find it best to do is with some of these like thin pliers. Just put them either side of the little spider legs there. Poke them in. Just uh, removes the foam from underneath. And then, if you've got an old pair of HD 600s or 650s, the foam might have already started to degrade, so it's going to probably fall apart when you do this. But uh, that's just the way it is, right? So, so there we go. So that's our foam disc, which I've removed. I put our weight back on. So now, what we can do is we can put in these various inserts go in there and you'll get three or four different ones I'm trying to get um, some grey foam ones made for this kit just to kind of go for that monochrome silver grey black kind of look at the moment there this kind of off-white but yeah we're hoping to get a grey which hopefully will be here in the next couple of days my favorite one I think the one that sounds flattest is the one with the number three on it um, these are like conical shaped, so it's easier to get them in one way than the other. Just push that in so it's vaguely level with the top. Now then this one that's in there probably gives the closest tuning to the original, but you get the extra detail that you get from adding this mod. It's basically adding a bit of weight to the back of the driver gives it something to push against. So uh, yeah, it generally makes, seems to make the driver a bit more accurate in the way it reproduces the sound. It can move a little bit faster, a little bit more accurately. Right, so as you can see with this one, it's kind of a bit flatter, it doesn't raise up as much around 100 Hz, so it stays kind of flatter from 700 Hz down to 100 and then starts to roll off, so you've got less of a kind of hump in the, in the base, which maybe makes it sound a little bit crisper down there, but you haven't got as much bass. Um, but you've also reduced some of the peaks in the treble again, like like we did before. So yeah, it's kind of flatter. It's kind of flatter than it than it was. Um, yeah, standard. They have actually got a little bit of a hump around 100 hertz, and so we've reduced that down. But uh, we haven't gained anything with with that insert sort of below 80 hertz. It actually goes down a little bit. So let's uh, let's try another one. So this one that looks like a calamari, cal calamari, calamari with a hole in the middle, that should give us a bit more bass, I believe. So basically what I'd recommend is just trying out all these, have a listen to some tracks that you really like, see which one you like the best. It just gives you a few little tweaking options. So I'll untake that. So with our calamari one, <laughs> you have picked up more bass now. So now below 50 hertz, so in the sub bass region, you've got more You've got a few extra decibels of sub bass, you've still got the peaks smoothed off in the high end. Um, the hump has kind of come back about 100 hertz, that's about the same as it was. But yeah, more more sub bass there, so similar tuning, just slightly, uh, slightly more sub bass than you get. And then this is how it was originally designed with nothing in there. Uh, this is how I originally tested it, and most people seem to prefer this they say it's a fun sound fun engaging sound uh, with nothing nothing in there um, but some people are saying there's too much bass so I think it depends what you like if you like that bass um, and this is probably good okay so now we've got quite a bit more bass in there so you can see um, yeah, all the way from sort of 700 hertz, it starts to raise up, peaks at about 100, and then tails off. But yeah, so all all along the kind of bass and sub bass region, you've got well, how much is that? What's that? Uh, you've got probably an extra two decibels of everything across the bass region. Again, still smoothed out peaks in the highs. 
if you're more about the the highs, <laughs> um, and maybe the blue, the blue job you might be the one to go for. So this is a slightly denser material, so it restricts the airflow in and out a bit more. There we go. So yeah, so pretty much ruler flat from sort of what's that? So closer to what's that? Probably two or three k. All the way down to 20 hertz it stays pretty flat um, so yeah so if you're looking for a more analytical sound maybe that's maybe that's what you're going for but yeah, it's one of those things that you'll have to play with different people like different things um, I like it with the number three most people have said that they prefer it without anything but uh, yeah have a, have a play have a play so anyway, I hope, I hope that was vaguely interesting. Just I, I know we've looked at this kit before, but uh, it's an updated version. It's on the 6XX. I know that more people have got 6XXs, so I'm hoping there's a, some of you guys uh, are gonna gonna buy this to pay for these videos. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you want if you want a set, if you want to have a play, they're pretty cheap. I think we're doing these for about 35 quid for a set, and uh, they just they really do squeeze about a hundred quid's worth of extra goodness out of these headphones so exceptional value uh, I'll stick a link in the description to where you can buy one if you've got any questions stick them in the thing uh, we are very busy though and I've got a bit of an announcement we are going to be at New Designers in London this year so uh, yeah there's a big design show in London and we're going to be showing off some of our new toys and maybe over the next uh, month I might shoot some videos of us making some of the new stuff that we're working on so we're going to be displaying our haptic chair which turns sound into touch which is pretty cool basically you listen to some music you can feel the music and uh, it's not it's a bit more advanced than those rumbly chairs that you get it basically separates out all the frequencies sends them to different parts of the body it's a whole body uh, it's just pretty cool pretty cool I've, I've tested it with a few people actually um, this this is kind of what it does to you Yeah, that's an early prototype, the real one looks a little bit sexier than that obviously. Uh, we've got some new cables which we're developing, we're working with a company that, uh, that weaves silk and they're going to get some beautifully woven silk stuff. Uh, it's quite an exciting design, it's kind of going to, it's going to be a bit of a premium thing but they're going to be a thing of great beauty. Yeah, so making some really, really beautiful cables and we're going to use some of our graphene wire with that, so graphene coated lids. So it's all kind of new technologies and it's quite exciting. What else are we making? Making some new headphones. I'm probably going to have some more uh, Hi-Fi Man mods ready for the show. So, uh, so if you're around London at the beginning of July, I'll keep you posted. We're going to be there. You can come and play with some of our stuff, see what we, see what we do, say hello, that kind of stuff. Really good to see you there. Anyway, um, it's been super awesome hanging out, and I'll see you guys again.